this is Dr. Bev Knox and you are listening to my psychology tutorials learn psychology while you sleep John B Watson's revolution did not transform psychology overnight it took a bit more time than he expected yet by 1924 a little more than a decade after he formally launched behaviorism even Techneya Watson's greatest opponent conceded that behaviorism had taken over American psychology by 1930, Watson was able to proclaim with considerable justification that his victory was complete. Watson's behaviorism was the first stage in the evolution of the behavioral school of thought. For decades, B.F. Skinner was the most famous and influential psychologist in the world. When he died in 1990, the editor of the journal American Psychologist praised him as one of the giants of our discipline who made a permanent mark on psychology. Skinner's obituary in the Journal of History of the Behavioral Sciences described him as the leading figure in behavior sciences of this century. Skinner's behaviorism was devoted to the study of responses. He was concerned with describing rather than explaining behavior. His research dealt only on observable behavior, and he believed that the task of scientific inquiry is to establish functional relationships between experimental controlled stimulus conditions and the organism's subsequent responses. Skinner's society that is based on positive reinforcement exists only in fiction, but the control or modification of human behavior individually and in small groups is widespread. Behavior modification through positive reinforcement is frequently used in mental hospitals, factories, prisons, and schools to change undesirable behaviors to more acceptable ones. Think of the child who throws a tantrum to get food or attention. Every time parents give in to the child's demands, they are reinforcing unpleasant behavior. In a behavior modification situation, behavior such as kicking and screaming would never be reinforced. Only more socially acceptable behaviors would be reinforced. After a time, the child's behavior will change because the tantrums no longer work on bringing rewards, whereas nicer behaviors will. Operant conditioning and reinforcement have been applied to the workplace to improve job performance, promote work safety practices, and teach job skills. Behavior modification has also been successful in altering the behavior of patients in mental hospitals by rewarding patients for appropriate behavior with tokens that can be exchanged for goods or privileges. The dominance of Skinner's brand of behaviorism peaked in the 1980s and declined after his death in 1990. Even the famous Harvard Pigeons Laboratory, begun by Skinner in 1948, was closed in 1998. Skinner conceded before his death that his form of behaviorism was losing ground and that the impact of the cognitive approach was growing. Other scholars agreed, noting that fewer scholars at major universities now call themselves behaviorists in the traditional sense. In fact, behaviorism is often referred to in the past tense. The behaviorism that remains vital in contemporary psychology, especially within applied psychology in the form of behavior 
behavior analysis is a different behaviorism from that which flourished in the decades between Watson's 1913 manifesto and Skinner's death. As with all evolutionary movements in science and nature, species will continue to evolve. In that sense, behaviorism survives in the spirit of its founder's intent, which was to develop a technology that could be used to change behavior for the better.